sitting here in the Tesla Model 3 Highland Performance. So I just got software update 2025.32.3.1. Let's go over some of the improvements. Okay, first of all, the Rave Cave max brightness setting will remember if it was on when you shift to park. Now, you have to have sync accent lights with music on for the Rave Cave max brightness feature to even enable. So I turned it on, put it in park, and you can see the accent lightings are pulsating at a high brightness at night. I'm sure it's intense. Now, another update has to do with airbag safety. So they're actually using the Tesla Vision camera system to help determine when to deploy airbags. Not sure how I feel about that. I'm sure it's been fully tested and it just makes the car even safer. Now, here's another feature that people have been asking for, a low power mode to conserve energy while the car is parked. So if you go to the airport and you're gonna be away for like 30 days or something, you don't wanna come back to a flat battery. So this is gonna disable some features. Let's check it out. Okay, so the settings are in the charging menu to enable low power mode. Let's see what features are disabled. So it's automatically disable sentry, summon, keep accessory power on, keep climbing on, schedule preconditioning, and cabin overheat protection. Now while charging, it's gonna still enable sentry mode and keep climbing on, so that's good. So it's gonna to continue to use energy for standby functions, screen, and Tesla app interactions. So this is makes it easy. When you go to the airport, you turn on that low power mode if you're gonna be away for a few days. So this makes it easy. If you're going to the airport, or you're gonna be parking your car with somewhere without a charger for a few days, and you know that it's gonna disable sentry mode, but you're more concerned with it consuming power. Before you could go in and disable all these functions individually, but never with one quick control like low power mode. Now I only wish that you could enable and disable this from the app because if you're away for a few days, you notice that your power's being drawn down by sentry mode, then you could enable the low power mode. But if you're monitoring and sentry mode's on, you're losing maybe 5% a day, 6% with cabin overheat protection, all that running, uh, and you're not worried about it, then you could just leave that off. So that's about it. There's a couple more minor fixes in this update for Bluetooth audio and for cameras with the Intel processor. So I really like the low power mode. I think it's something that is going to make it a lot easier for a lot of people. Remember to like and subscribe for more videos about Tesla, Rivian, Wi-Fi, and tech products.